Hello everyone, welcome back to my JAXA Advanced Start RP1 Career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. We are probably going to set up our ComSat network. I think that would be good. And we will see what kind of solar panels and communications we can muster with the funding that we have. Of course, our funding is the limiting thing, but we are getting paid for these things. So hopefully we'll be able to do something decent. We just started the early communication network contract there and then we also have the early lunar pros but we don't have to get started on that quite as quickly and our rocket well it should be capable of it if we uh, fund the better cores we can get good deep space cores it's just a matter of whether we can afford it that's a uh, that's actually a lot of delta v <laughs> that's uh that i think moon might be quite doable actually so, we have this format, 1.25 meters. We really don't have the money to unlock mature avionics, but we can switch that to basic avionics. How much will it take to tool that? Not much, uh, but we want deep space anyway. We need, we really just need to get the basic avionics here for deep space. That's 33,000. You know what? Uh, considering, yeah, yeah, okay, yes. We should just wait for that. Okay. Now, can we unlock our first deep space core? Yes. 33,000. Okay. I don't know if I want it this size, though. Okay. The 4 one just requires 4 in this, but uh, it's at a lower altitude. I think the lower altitude will help. Just because then we don't have to put as good an antenna on our probes as we otherwise would have. So I think I'll... Uh, last time I did the 3-1. This time I think I'll do the 4-1. In the European Space Agency one, I did the 3-satellite one. So I'll do the 4-1 this time. I will also uh, go with the lunar flyby. I think we can actually manage that. Uh, well, we need 125 units of comsat. Okay. 13,300 is sort of the range that we want for this. So let's say 14,000. Oop, not that much. Plan. Oh, that's that's not bad. But that's for the tracking station. We need to another thing that has the same antenna. See, now that's not good enough. Okay. So, with 38 decibel uh, milliwatts, they will be able to talk to each other, for sure. Should we just start with these folding solar panels? 66,000. No, we shouldn't. We've already got this unlocked, so it's okay. Maybe I should get the Ranger solar panels. That's more than enough. I think that's cheaper than the hinge solar panel version, too. Solar panels sort of sticking out of the blue zone, but... Oh, we didn't use this one in the other series. It's a little bit stretched, though. But it's okay. Okay. Comsat 1. Uh, we can't afford the tooling yet. <laughs> 25,000 for it. So we'll have to wait, but... I don't know also if we can get the 125 units to that orbit. We'll have to see. We know we can do the precision because we've got the RCS and everything. Well, we don't. We we can just go with the MMH and uh, Mon three here. Pad GSE is still apparently happy somehow. Doesn't have any other particular needs except for the height. Question is whether we can get to that height with the Delta V that we have. Insufficient. Oh god, we still have a 60 ton core on these things. Okay. Well, let's double check everything. So, we'll need. The pad limit is 75, so we'll want a 75. 75. Was it. Did we already have one? Maybe we already had one. Oh, we already had one ready to go. Because I anticipated that, I suppose. 10 tons should be fine for the upper stage. Okay. 
So actually we don't need to take too much time or money. Save edits. Let's just make sure the others also have that. Okay. So trying to launch a commsat. We will see how it goes. SAS is on. Throttle is up. And ignition. And launch. Frisky. Very frisky. Okay, that's sort of pushing it right there. Okay, booster set. This ghost line isn't good. This, this, that's partly why I made my own Tanagashima. I really should get that in here. Okay, and finally, next stage. Oh no, we lost comms. Gosh darn it. Just the problem that we're trying to solve here. However, this will, no matter what, stay in orbit around Earth, so that's a positive. I'm hoping we can pick Amalek up. I'm always hoping that we can pick Amalek up. The Pacific is really bad for comms. <laughs> it's too big. Who came up with this big ocean? Well, on the bright side, this will still be a commsat around Earth. On the downside, it won't be in the right place. The apoapsis that we want is above, let's say, 2700, just for simplicity's sake. Please, Amalek, help us get Amalek. I should just launch more southerly. Uh, let's... oh, time warp. So we don't use all the RCS. Oh, now we've picked up. Okay, well... Sun... We should just uh, launch it steeper up, initially. Okay, well, it'll work, sort of. But it won't fulfill the contract, obviously. We'll build... Uh, so we'll rename this one. Oh, we do have Cosmic Race Science, but I don't know if there's any benefit to starting that. I'll shut down Avionics, and I want to rename Vessel Comsat X1. Okay, SAS on, throttle up, let's just go steeper. Ignition. And launch. The boosters actually ran out at different times. So much variability they've thrown in. They like their RNG. Okay, separation. And fairings. Omelek is there. Our trajectory is like that now. It's just a precaution. I think we'll be able to maintain comms, maybe. Tanagashima's there. Maybe... Maybe we're not gonna keep comms with Tanagashima. <laughs> okay. And separation. Should we just wait until we pick up Amalek? Or just keep burning like this? Looking at it, we should be able to look at that line. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna cut now. We're starting to lose comms there, and I'm gonna wait till Amalek. Hopefully, it's gonna be okay. Oh, it's actually stretched pretty well. Okay, we've got Amalek now. So, we can just do uh, Apoapsis Burn. So we'll just say we're gonna aim for 600 kilometers or something. Okay, now I'll do the trick. Let's just go up. Okay, do we have enough? Oh, 
up, 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 up. We need 0. 0.004 eccentricity. Well, it's satisfied with this one. It's already okay. All right. Okay, shutting down avionics. There it goes, spinning wildly. The ground seems to be streaking a bit. Next! Okay, throttle up, SAS is on. Ignition. And launch. I love how it does that. Okay, separation. Oh, we wanted to go to 100. Let's do that still. Okay, separation and ignition and fairness. Okay, separation and ignition. And this time I think we'll trust the line a little bit longer. Okay, we have a link to Amalek as well. Okay, that's what we needed there. Let's proceed up. Now I just gotta mess be messing that up. I mean, it's satisfied already. Shutting down avionics. But they're not 90 degrees apart. But they're talking to each other as planned. They're also not exactly, you know, at the right orbital period. Okay, anyway, this one's all set up. Um, we can't really have too many more people working on it anyway, so... Let's see, research, we could probably unlock something or another. But I feel like we do need to eventually get to LE5 is all the way up here. I mean, maybe we should save up for it, but maybe we should get second gen capsules. Hmm. Anyway, we'll, we'll have to wait on that. We don't have enough science. Okay. SAS on, throttle up. And ignition. And launch. And staging. And fairing. So far, it hasn't killed an engine yet. So it's probably not thinking it's necessary to kill one on these commsats. It's gonna do, do that at a later time when it's more inconvenient. Okay, staging. We didn't go quite as high up as I should have. This might be taking it too easy. But actually, our other commsat is connected. Is it actually actually helping us though? Should be tech level two and relaying. Hmm. Full path. I mean, it seems like it. It seems like our other commsat's helping. Oh, it looks like that's the bounce signal through our commsat. It would be pretty weak. Just barely capable of doing it. Okay, well, let's see. We got one there, one there. Where is this one gonna end up? In the middle? But, I mean, they have they were much closer before and they've already drifted a huge amount. Same. Is that technically above? Yeah. Okay, so, um... 
Okay, we have our satellite in place. And we just have to do one more. It's satisfied with all these three. Just make sure it's recharging. Okay. Back to Space Center. Got plenty of money now. Because we've just been launching commsats. But we have tons and tons of things to unlock, so that'll go away pretty soon. We haven't gotten much new science. We really need to... Well, we'll do the moon mission, so that'll get us some science. A little bit steeper this time would be good. Throttle up. SAS is on. Ignition. And launch. Okay, separation. It just had a roll, probably some imbalance between the boosters or something. I don't know why. It's fine. We don't have any control for roll right now. No fins and no verniers. We could get the LR-101 verniers, which would be appropriate. I don't see a particular need. It's rolling the other way now, isn't it? How does it change its roll, though? I don't even know. Well, at least we have all the stripey things to show us it's rolling and everything. <laughs> It'll cancel it out once we're uh, on the next stage, which has RCS. Okay, continuing. Everything looking good as usual. Hold on, we went a little bit too high there. Oh, that's the failed one. See, it's still working. Okay, circularizing. We're way too high. Hold on, let's uh, let's wait a little bit longer. Well, that eccentricity is 0. 0.000. Okay, they have to hang off for two days. Okay, we can turn off the avionics, and let's just wait four to two days. We have four commsats, they should all be happy, hopefully. Okay, we have fulfilled that contract, it is happy, they are working and doing what they're supposed to. Let's see if we can do a lunar flyby.